and we're live. All right, there we go. Sorry, a little bit late. Some some tiny setup issues. Uh, I'm trying to I'm, I'm trying something new with the recording. I'm going to try and record from my phone as well as from from uh, Facebook today, so we get good video for YouTube. And uh, I'm going to hang out for a little bit, probably for I don't know, a couple minutes, just kind of chat, talk to myself, adjust my phone because I. There we go. I need to, I need actually like a phone tripod or something. <clears throat> there we go. All right, I'm happy with that. And um, so, yeah. Uh, so, as I mentioned in the previews, we're going to be talking a little bit about... Hey, what's up, Ronnie? We're talking a little bit. We're actually going to be talking a lot about uh, Viking Ninja Screama, especially Viking Ninja Martial Arts, since we, we finally locked down a venue and dates for our first workshop. So, I'm super excited about that. And um, so, yeah. So, I'm going to hang, like hang out for a little bit chat and then uh see see who else if anybody pops on and uh then we'll dive in but uh yeah i'm really excited about this i'm actually gonna start recording recording some of the uh the curriculum for for the eskrima ninja courses pretty soon here uh it's gonna start with some simple instructional stuff and then i don't know we'll see i mean I, that's that's kind of something i'd be interested in hearing from folks is you know one of the questions i've gotten is what do we do to prepare for for the workshops and uh, so i'll try and talk a little bit to that but um yeah you know let me know and um and uh yeah once uh like i said like it's gonna be like i said i'm gonna, I'm gonna try and film much stuff it's gonna be basic techniques it's gonna be obviously things like mobility for for a screamer mobility for martial arts i mean and uh if and even i guess, I guess talking about the martial arts stuff in general if there's anything in like particular you guys would like to see from that let me know i know um i mean I, you know, I get i get the question about viking ninja grappling all the time which personally i'd love to do i don't know and you guys know um uh andy craig you know our our uh, martial arts kind of master coach is is a very very accomplished grappler so i mean you know he's done some wrestling i think uh, i think he actually competed a little while ago so it'd be kind of cool to to, to see what he could put together for um, <clears throat> for uh, for Viking Ninja grappling, and that would give me an excuse to start uh, start working on my my grappling for BJJ or my mobility for BJJ mobility for grapplers series again. I think I kind of let that fall by the way just because I had so many other things going on. But uh, yeah, hopefully we'll we'll fire that back up. Um, you guys know I, I love grappling. I mean I I train jujitsu three or four times a week now. Uh, I've got some got some tournaments coming up, so I'm super excited about that. Um, kind of I, I decided the other day i'm actually going to uh i actually am going to compete at the um the uh nogi the the pacific northwest nogi summit in august i was, I was kind of on the fence but but my, my buddy gordon chen love you gordon uh kind of convinced me to do it so and i mean it's like you know it's not till august and I feel, I feel like if i if i can keep my training up to three or four days a week which which i promised coach i would I, I'll, I'll i'll be pretty well ready so i'm excited about that and i'm kind of in the in the throes of weight cutting right now not not like not like fight cutting uh i figure since i've got some time we'll we'll cut uh, cut cut down slowly and uh get down to a good good solid competition weight and then not have to not have to kill myself at the end there so um yeah so i don't know anybody, anybody else anybody else competing soon anybody else got a uh, got got tournaments coming up anybody else got, got competitions coming up uh hey nico my favorite knife blade um whew. The one, the one that's not, uh, the one that's not, not, not in my ribs, man. <laughs> no, uh, you know, um, I mean, you know me, you know me, brother. I, I, I love that K-bit, right? I love, love, love my karambits, actually. I, I don't have my, I'm not carrying my 599 today, but, uh, that's, that's definitely something we'll be, we'll be, uh, doing in Viking Ninja Scream. Uh, probably at the higher levels, we'll get into, into the karambit. But, uh, I don't know, what, 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 what about you, man? Uh, what do, what's, what are you, what are you carrying these days? How about you, you two, yeah. You know, I know, and I know you had a great. Uh, I really liked your your EDC uh, video you did, Ronnie. Actually, I have a I have a response video I'm doing to that. But yeah, Nick, what what do you, what do you care in these days, man? I mean, you've been kind of quiet recently. I haven't seen much from you, but uh, yeah, what's uh, what's going on in your world? All right, let's see. So coming up on almost about five minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get started with today's content, I guess, and. Uh, I guess I first uh, talk a little bit about my GDC talk. Some of you guys know I was at the Game Developers Conference last week, and I got to do a presentation on movement and mobility and joint health for for tech workers, game developers, and it was a lot of fun. Um, obviously, it wasn't a perfect talk. Uh, there's definitely things I would change going back. Um, like I, I told Sarah, my, my mentor, I had way too much content. You know, it was an hour talk, and I probably had 
I probably had two hours at least of non like non workout content. So I had to fly through my slides, and then we did the workout. The workout, even the workout, was supposed to only be like fifteen minutes, and ended up taking like a half an hour, I think. But uh, it was good. Um, I don't. I don't know if I'm going to do it again, at least at GDC. I mean, if they asked me to come back and do it, I would. It seems like it was well-received. I mean, everybody seemed to have a good time. So, um, yeah, who, who knows? Maybe, I mean, it'd be cool if, like, I, I've been kind of, like, positing this sort of for, for, a, while, for a while. But I think, like, this idea of, of just health is something that we gloss over so much in, in just the tech industry and pretty much a lot of industries, you know, desk, desk job industries in general. And... It, it always bugs me to read articles where people talk about the failing health of, of people in a certain industry. It's like, but what are you doing to address it? You know, I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, health benefits are great. I mean, I, you know, I, you know, Facebook has amazing, an amazing healthcare program. But, but sometimes you have to do a little bit more. You know, I mean, you know, you have to. It's like, like I said, you know, you, you can lead a horse to water, you know, but it's not going to drink all that good stuff. And, and in this case, we're not even like leading the horse. We're just like putting the water out there and saying, well, if you want it, go get it. But so I, I really think we need to do a little bit more to, let's see, Nick's been, been working abroad. Still fair with K, but with the, yeah, I'm with you there. One, one yeah, one to two inches. Yeah, the, the little, yeah, I'm not, I'm not like the, the I guess they're called the battlefield karambits. Like, I mean, those are cool. They look really cool, but I'm with you, man. Trapping, trapping, yeah, trapping and speed is what it's all about with the K-Bit, and I'm totally, totally with you there, and, uh, yeah, let me know what's up with you, dude, thanks, thanks, yeah, I, I am doing well, and I, I really appreciate it, man, like, uh, yeah, I love, I love seeing, you know, your, your random posts, and, uh, and uh, like I said, hopefully one of these days we'll get to train together, so, uh, we'll see how that goes, but, uh, what was a second, yeah, back to, so, health, health in the workplace, you know, it, it, it's a huge thing, and I'd love to see, more 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 places take an active role like not just i mean and like i said a lot of the places i work you know facebook and microsoft google you know they have they actually have personal trainers that, that'll come in too which is kind of cool but again i think and i think that's a good step but i think there's there's so much more that we need to do besides that i mean you know not everybody wants to do high intensity kind of boot camp type work and, and not everybody needs it like i said i, th I think just having somebody present, you know, ergonomic and movement kind of training, you know, so like basically like I did at GDC, it wasn't a high intensity workout. I mean, I mean, what we ended up doing, you know, is basically part of what I do for warm up every day, which, you know, just some, some joint circles, you know, this sort of thing, but that's, that's basic maintenance, you know, and, but um, overall, like I said, um, I'm glad I did it. And I want to, want to shout out Sarah, my, my mentor, like, thank you so much. And you guys, anybody who's on this or, you know, whether you're watching this later, watching this now, you know, if you're starting your own business, like business business, man, get a freaking mentor. It uh, probably, like I said, it's the best, best investment I've made. Um, you know, sh I mean, they're, they're, like I said, I wouldn't have actually given a talk at GEC if, if Sarah hadn't said, hey, well, you know, why don't you, you know, you have experience with this, this, uh, this demographic. Why not take some of your movement coaching to them? So actually, I'm going to throw up uh, some info for Movolution. If anybody's, I don't know if, if Sarah's taking clients right now, but um, if she is, you should, you should get onto that. So there's Movolution, there's Sarah's Instagram, and how about Movolution on Facebook? Yeah, actually, I could just like, just link that directly. Let's go at Movolution. There we go. Um, I know, but uh, I, know, I know if you're in the Seattle area, or even if you're not in Seattle, I think Luca does uh, online coaching, but Luca Hosevar of uh, Vigor Fitness, the Vigor Fitness, Vigor Grounds, and runs the Vigor Fitness Business Summit, which I hope to see some of you folks at in September on Seattle. He also does a, a business mentoring program, and, you know, that guy, he's probably got one of the, the more successful facilities in, in the Seattle area, and, I mean, just as in the fitness industry, he's a very well-known guy. And uh, actually, let me throw up some... Throw up some info for him too. I think it's just uh, if you just look up Vigor Grounds, I'll just link that. I'll just link the Facebook here. Vigor, Vigor Ground Fitness and Performance. There we go. So check him out. More good stuff. And um, yeah. So I've got. So speaking of GDC, I've also got a a course coming up with uh, the folks at Rigging Dojo that's so kind of piggybacking off of what I did at GDC. So it's going to be kind of more more movement mobility for tech workers, but rather than just like a, a one hour or a half hour talk and workout, this is going to be a full couple week course, and I'm actually working on the content for that now. It's going to be everything from basic daily maintenance to, you know, little kind of five minute movement snacks you can do all the way up to a full on what we call dirty mobility. And, um, 
and uh, so that's coming. Like I said, I'll, it, I don't think we've published we've, we've published any info about it yet. I know I think Brad's waiting on me, so yeah, I know I'm slacking. But uh, so we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and toss up a link to Rigging Dojo. Oh no, I'm gonna have to Facebook it. HTTP there we go and I'm also gonna make my uh, my GDC slides available too to the public um, I didn't um, I, I, was, I was gonna try to like record it very very surreptitiously like see if I could like stick my like put my phone and record but I was kind of wandering around stage the whole talk so that probably wouldn't have gone over very well but um uh, also off of GDC I have a series of webinars coming up that are going to kind of go into a little bit more detail about some of the stuff that I talked about there so uh, if you're not following hopefully well obviously you're here you're probably following this page so we'll talk about that a little bit more. And lastly, I have been invited to be on the, the Steel Mace Warrior podcasts by Victoria Islas, the Steel Mace Warrior. So I'll toss up some info about her. And we're going to be talking about, we're going to be talking a little bit about how to bridge kind of natural, like basically the idea of, so some of you guys know I was really big into natural movement and ancestral health. And I, I like those ideas still. But what I'm really interested in now is, uh, what well, my buddy James, who's also who runs the uh, Ancestral Health podcast, um, Ancestral Health Radio. What I'm really interested in is this idea of how we bridge, kind of some of the good ideas, not not good ideas, but just the way we used to live, or at least we, the way we think we used to live, right? I mean, you know, paleo and all that, whatever you want to call it. You know, how we take those ideas and bring them into a modern context. You know, I, I like I really like the idea of not you know i mean not not basically not exercising but but just but moving you know i mean you know you guys have probably heard this but yeah exercise is kind of a is is a is a man-made answer to not even answer it's more of a band-aid it's like a patch that to kind of like so try and make up for like the way we used to live and address the changes in lifestyle that that have happened over you know due to modern agricultural and dust and the industrial revolution and all that but I think what we're finding out nowadays is maybe that's not optimal, right? So, so we'll be talking about that. And if you have any questions about that, feel free to leave those for me uh, wherever. I think we're going to be. Uh, I think I, I mentioned April was a good date for me, so I think we're going to. We'll, so I think we're going to we're going to talk early April. And um, actually, lastly, for real this time, uh, as far as continuing ed, I will be at the Onnit Academy inaugural barbell certification this weekend. I'm actually flying out. I think Friday. So if anybody's coming to that, would love to see you there. And uh, kind of interesting, because I think this is like the last little bit of continuing ed that I'm going to do for a while. I've got a couple more courses after that. But, but um, yeah, I think I'm, I'm actually going to like step off the road for a bit and start to build. And um, so we'll be doing, uh, I mean, obviously I'll be keeping my Onnit certifications up because I love Onnit. But um, actually, I, yeah, I think, uh, yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm just going to audit stuff, FRC, FMS, my FMS stuff. And uh yeah, so I'm, I'm kind of happy that, like, I'm sort of, you know, I started with Onnit, and I'm sort of ending with Onnit, not you know, ending, because, uh, like I said, I, I really love those guys. I love what the Onnit Academy is doing. They've got some big plans coming up, so hopefully you're still watching them. And, uh, I think you know, and, and I'm glad that, like, in Viking Ninja Training, we've sort of decided to build off of the Onnit Academy teachings, because, like I said, I think, I think I've said it before, and I've said it, and I think those guys are really going to be a dominant force in the industry soon, and I think Viking Ninja Training is too. So let's get to the meat of our conversation so viking ninja training like we mentioned um we've been kind of um uh in, in, in i guess kind of in that in that interesting building phase where you know there's there's a lot of interest right off so we so we, so, we've, so we've been a little there's basically there's been a lot for us to deal with um but uh you know first of all uh, on that front shout out to uh viking ninja sensei and uh Viking Ninja Steel Mace Yoga Guru uh, Aaron Furry and of course who were out in uh, up in Toronto this weekend. I think that's our first like our first international seminar and I, I gotta say I'm really excited about the Steel Mace Yoga stuff. I haven't done a course yet, but um, it's this idea of using the unconventional tools for for movement practice for PT post PT prehab rehab is something that I think is really awesome. I mean I think uh, uh, you know I remember talking to Coach Guyette about this a while back when I audited battle ropes and he you know he was talking about talking to Dre Spina of FRC about using battle ropes for PT and for, for me that makes sense like why wouldn't you use these tools that you can use for you know for activation and priming and patterning because that's what PT and, and rehab is all about right so you get somebody comfortable with it there then when you're in the reacclimation phase you you just ramp up what you're doing and then and then 
you move directly into tr- you know back into like training from there. So I mean, I, th- I think in a couple of years we're gonna look back at like steel mix yoga and be like, well, yeah, of course you use these tools for uh, for for PT and post PT and prehab rehab. I mean, what, what are you high? So so shout out to Aaron like uh, for for getting the steel mix yoga stuff off the ground. And um, uh, hopefully we'll bring that to Seattle. Hopefully, hopefully we'll bring it to somewhere near you soon too. Um, but but anyway, yeah, like I said, so we've got a April's I think a big month for us. We've got three three or four courses. I know like there's the 21st. We've got two courses on the 28th. I'm actually uh, we're actually gonna post up the full kind of revised schedule here. Hopefully tomorrow if I get the art done. But um, yeah, and then Viking Ninja Escrima and Viking Ninja Martial Arts. Uh, we have you know we've got some striking going on in May. So we'll be so I know Coach Jimmy and uh, Sensei will be out in Miami, and I'm going to try to get out to that. And well, I'm not going to try. I'm going to be out of that. Yet. All right, Josh Evans, I will totally be there. I promise. You too, April. You better be there. And um, so we'll be doing, uh, like I said, striking. We'll have a challenge course, and um, yeah. So Escrima and Marsh and the more the more traditional based martial arts. That's going to start in June. So June 16th is the date for that. And uh, like I said, we'll be doing, I think at this camp we're doing everything. We're going to be doing bow staff, some nunchucks, some escrima, maybe a little bit of striking. And that's going to be out in the Boise area. You guys know Coach Zarin lives out there, so, uh, and he's got a bunch of connections out there, so that's where we're going to be. And it's going to be, like I said, very, at least on the escrima front, it's going to be very basic stuff. Um, obviously, we're not going to get crazy. Um, one of the things we do differently in Viking Ninja Escrima is we start with double stick instead of single stick and footwork. And mainly that's because double stick really relates to what we do with the mace a lot more closely than the single stick and the knife. And it also, I mean, all the unconventional tools, I mean, you know, whether it's kettlebells, whether it's ropes, whether it's, you know, um, that, but just that idea of kind of bilateral patterning and asymmetrical patterning is really where we want to start. Um, is it in Boise? It's uh, it's it's in the area. It's going to be at uh, in at uh, Dream Bodies. I think is what we is we actually confirmed that that was kind of what we were thinking. Let me throw up a link to that. I wonder if I have them on Facebook. I think I do. Dream Body. I don't. Dream Box. Nope. All right. Let me find them real quick. I need to like start liking more of these folks on Facebook, man. So let's see. Toss up a link to them. I don't think they have any promo info yet because we haven't actually we haven't actually thrown out any of that. So there we go. Oh, hey, we got some audio that we don't want. Stop that. Do, do you hate that? I really hate that. Like when you when you when you like go onto a web page and all of a sudden the trailer starts playing, you get noise. But so that's where we're gonna be. Um, so. So hopefully we'll see more folks there. And uh, I haven't actually been to the facility. I don't. I don't know what it looks like. But um, hopefully we'll have we'll have room. I think I think that's another reason that I kind of wanted to hold off on um, uh, single stick and footwork stuff. Is I think because because like these these first workshops are usually pretty big. I mean I think we've had you know 15, 20, 25 people at our intro workshops. And so I don't want to try and have to move people around in a you know, in a, in, in a limited space, you know, so once we get up to like the higher levels, I imagine we'll have less people just because obviously, I mean, that's just kind of how it goes. And, and I know like, you know, FMA purists, like you're going to hate me for not teaching, for not teaching, for not spending three hours doing triangle step. But, you know, I, I don't mean to like be a dick, but, um, but yeah, you know, that's, that's something, obviously we'll get into it because footwork is super important. And you know, I mean, it feeds into Viking striking. If we want to Viking grappling, it feeds into all that. And same with single stick, obviously, because single stick is how we go to knife, how we go to empty hand. But, like I said, I want to give people stuff that's immediately actionable, um, I think. And and personally, like, I felt like if, if all I did was teach you angle one and two for, you know, for two hours, like, I mean, I, I get it. But, like I said, I mean, this, this to me is part of that non-traditional mindset we're taking. Uh, and I think it's like knowing the audience. I mean, I know a lot of folks who are going to be coming to this are very good movers very accomplished movers and very good coaches and so so i know that a lot of the stuff that i give people they're going to pick up right away and which which i'm excited about like i've never actually gotten to teach martial arts to a group of people that have really good movement prerequisites already so so i think and that's the thing like i want to give people things that they can take back to their gym and you know, and start working with their clients, you know, just like, kind of like we do it with Viking striking, you know, it's like, you know, it's a lot, it's, you know, we don't spend an hour on, on jab and cross, you know, we move right into, you know, we, we do a little bit of time to like, to, to tone up the technique, and then we move right into like, the actual like, work, because, because that's the other thing with, with this is like, 
at the early levels of, of Viking Ninja martial arts, at least for Eskrima, like I'm not, I'm not super worried about people being super clean technically. What I'm worried about more is that you understand the mindset of kind of moving with weapons and and even more than that for Viking Ninja stuff. What, I, what I'm concerned about is that people understand how what we're doing with the steel mace and the clubs and like the Viking Ninja cross training and all the other Viking Ninja systems. You know, I'm, what, what I want you to really get is how that stuff feeds the martial arts. So it's, it's not just about martial arts. It's about this whole system and kind of introducing people to how martial arts kind of fits into that, right? So, so I'm not going to spend, you know, like I said, I'm not going to spend two hours making sure that you have a technically perfect angle one and two and triangle step. Like I just, I, I feel like that's, that's not a good value. And, you know, if, if, it, if my goal were just to teach you FMA, then yeah, I absolutely would. You know, if, and if I knew that I was going to have you once or twice a week forever, sure, we would, we would do that. But, um, but we're not, and, and this is a question I get from people all the time. Like, what is the curriculum actually going to look like? And so, so there you go. So like the first work, workshop is going to be, like I said, a lot of double stick, you know, we'll do, you know, we'll do some Cinewallies. We'll do, um, a lot of just like, like way to do solo training. So not, not necessarily katas, but just patterns that like you can sort of work. And because that's the other thing I want people to do is I want people to explore, you know, I mean, my goal is to show you a bunch of fundamentals and then I want to see what you do with it. I want you to go out and, cause like I said, I know a lot of people who are going to be coaches, are going to be trainers, are going to understand how to put movements together, are going to understand how to structure a workout. So I just want to give you another tool to kind of explore. And then, like I said, once we get up into the white belt, blue belt, red belt, then we'll actually start getting into more proper FMA. So we'll get into like, you know, we'll, we'll get into footwork and we'll get into like knife tapping and we'll get into knife on knife and we'll get into like lock flows and we'll get into you know, more advanced Cinewallies, and we're going to, like, uh, you know, counter flows and all that good stuff, and, and you know, you know the, uh, what else? I mean, at some point, we'll probably even get into dirty boxing, you know, we'll once, and, you know, and again, the dirty boxing is something that I kind of want to wait until folks have had a chance to go through Viking striking, at least the, kind of the intro levels of Viking striking, and then we'll start working on destructions, and then we'll start working on, you know, and, you know inside, outside entries, split entries, all that good stuff, you know, to, to take downs, to, Although, I'm, I'm still on the fence about how far I want to really, really go into, into combatives. Um, I mean, I know, I know there's some interest for it. Like, we've been asked about, you know, are we going to do self-defense? And um, it's, you know, we've talked about it. Um, so, maybe. It, it, to me, it's one of those, I'm, I'm going to wait and see, like, kind of what comes out of these first couple workshops and see what people, what, what people really, like, gravitate towards. I mean, because... You know, if it ends up that people really just kind of want to do, um, want to just do, just do like, you know, Eskrima as a movement practice, I'm totally fine with that. I mean, you know, one of the things I've realized kind of in my own age is that like combatives practice is something I do for myself, but um, I, I don't know that I'm interested in teaching it anymore. Um, I, I really like the idea. I mean, if I'm going to teach people something, I think I would rather teach people the kind of the, the, the art in martial arts. And to me, that's not a dirty word. You know, I'm not, I'm not one of these guys who's like, you know, if, if you're not learning how to beat the piss out of somebody and, and kill people and do dumb shit that's going to land you in jail, then, like, you know, you're not a real martial artist. Well, I mean, I think I think there's room for all of it. You know, combatives is awesome. I did I, I did combatives for a long time. I think it's, and it's a super, especially nowadays, like, the way things are getting crazy, like, I think everybody needs to at least know how to, like, throw a punch and stuff a takedown, right? So, but I think for what we're trying to do in Viking Ninja, I'm what I'm more interested in is saying, okay, now that you've got a good kind of fitness base from from Viking into training, from the cross training, here's kind of that advanced skill training. Because because I think that's another thing that's missing from modern fitness is that we spend all this time doing, you know, again that that word exercise, right? We spend all this time doing doing that, but we don't ever we don't. Uh, I, 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 this is a weird conversation, but we, we don't we don't play enough, um, and that, that's a word. I, I, you know, I and I hesitate to say that because that's another one of those words, kind of like movement and mobility, that's getting very beat up, and so so I so, I, have to, so I, I try to be very careful about the context that I use it. But we don't. And when I say when I when I say play, I mean we just don't spend enough time like doing something with our fitness, and that's that's why I'm really excited about Viking into martial arts. Is it's like it's it's the it is the play component. It's the skill component of the training and don't get me wrong like i mean swinging a mace is skill is skilled you know i mean a 360 is not a simple movement it's a very skilled movement so we already have some of that but 
what we don't have, I think, is we don't have, again, that play aspect, that live, kind of that live energy. And that's definitely something we're going to get into, probably not in the prep course, but, you know, one of the things I'm going to start asking people to come back to the advanced workshops with is, is their own is their own kind of drills, their own counter flows, their own whether it's a you know whether it's a, whether it's like a double stick like counter flow or like a or a knife on knife counter flow or a knife tap counter flow or or even like like some some empty hand stuff and you know and I'll be, and that's going to be part of the test as well so when people test out for the higher belts you know I'm going to say hey show up to the workshop and you know one of you guys one or two or three of you folks are actually going to have to teach your drill or your counter flow or whatever it is and that's going to be part of your test so so there you go a little bit of a little bit of a, a preview into what to look forward to. And, and again, it's not, I'm less concerned about flashy stuff and fancy flowy things and more that, that I can see that you understand the fundamentals and that you understand like what, what we need, but, but more than that also that you went out and you put your own flavor on it, that you, you understood the concepts enough to say, oh, okay, well, this is, this is how I interpret that. And if I see a flow or a counter flow or drill that, that is a, a good interpretation of the fundamentals, but like I said, through your lens, through the lens of how I know you train or how I see you train on like Instagram or Facebook or whatever, then that's, that's cool. Even if it's like the simplest thing in the world. So, all right. So we've been kind of all over the place, but, um, yeah, man, um, that's Viking Ninja Eskrima in a nutshell. And, uh, if you guys want to get gear, um, we're going to be using padded sticks for the, for the prep course, but obviously grab a pair of rattan sticks, grab a knife trainer. Um, and I'll, I'll post up some, some info for all this as well. I get all my stuff from colleaguegear.com. Um, actually here, let's, let's keep them up. Oh, this is going to be the worst YouTube video ever because my hands always are, are coming into the shot like every five minutes when I type. There we go. <clears throat> and, um, yeah. So like I said, rattan sticks, great for training. Um, get a karambit trainer if you want, you know, at least start moving it around. I mean, and that's the thing, you know, um, we'll have some time with this. So if anybody wants to learn or at least get a little preview into what's next or have some drills to, to kind of start to, you know, just kind of start to see what the next couple levels look like, um, we'll do that. You know, I mean, I'll definitely, uh, you know, I'm definitely happy to show. Same, and, and at any of the Viking Ninja, if, you know, I'm, I'm a, I bring all my gear to the Viking Ninja workshops so that I go to. So if anybody wants to grab me like after the workshop or during and like during one of the breaks not during the workshop but during one of the breaks and just go over stuff yeah i'm happy to um like i said i don't i don't know if i'm gonna be at any of the april workshops um i was planning on going back out to advanced for steel mace i might not um i don't know it's it's still up in the air i'm, I'm already doing some traveling in april so i don't know if i want to travel more and, um, but I will definitely, like I said, I will definitely be in Miami in May for the 19th and the 20th. So, and I've already told some folks I'm going to have my gear there. And then, uh, I'll also be at Innovative Results in June. That's June 9th. That's the weekend before we do martial arts. So if anybody wants to come to that, or if anybody's going to be at that once again, wants to, wants a little bit of preview. Cause I don't know. I, th I think after June, we're probably going to scale it back a little bit not, not be so many places so much, um, so we'll see, we'll see what happens. Um, but definitely more martial arts the back half of the year. So yeah, guys, get, get ready. And like I said, or feel free to ask me questions. I mean, if, uh, like I said, I'm, I'm putting a bunch of videos together. Um, so I may put those up right now. Right now they're mainly for coach Zarin. I need to, I need to get him up to speed so we can, so we can teach the workshop. But, um, yeah, we'll see. I mean, I, I may I may release them to the public. I may not. But but if you know, I mean, honestly, you guys can go go look on on YouTube. You know, Kali Center uh, has a great YouTube channel. There's a lot of great double stick drills he has. Um, and you know, some of you guys know I've been following Paul's work for years. I'm a huge fan of of Kali Center. So maybe some of the stuff that he does might show up in our curriculum. Who knows? I'm actually going out to his instructor camp in in July. So I'm really or end of June. Jeez, yeah. So like literally, like, I think the week after uh, our first camp, I'm gonna be flying out to to uh, to South Dakota to do the uh, Kali Center instructor training camp. So so definitely check him his stuff out if you're curious. And um, yeah, I guess uh, so. Yeah, didn't didn't really get any questions, so that's cool. And uh, we're right at about a half an hour, so I gotta get back to speaking of Viking Ninja. I gotta finish up posters. Gotta gotta get the get promo material done. Yeah, so I'm gonna jet. It was cool, and thank you, everybody, for coming. Like I said, I'm always open for questions, too, so leave them on my Facebook, hit me up on Instagram, DM me, whatever. 
Cheers, guys.